Good morning from Redvale RV. This is a quick how to use video on the 2004 Luna Chateau 470 Fourbird. Now I've popped in front here the accessories required to use this caravan. We have our power lead, our leg winder, our motor mover winder handle, our fresh water tank, and our plug-in water pump. But we'll get to those shortly. This caravan is equipped with 230 volt power, LPG, and a deep cycle house battery, which runs your 12 volt system. So right now, the caravan has a fully charged 12 volt battery. We're gonna step inside and I'm gonna show you how everything works. This caravan has not had its final groom yet, so if you do see any dirt or anything, that is why. So as we step on inside, with the 12 volt system running, all of these lights here, 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 and all around will work by just turning on the switches. Now the switches are all over the place for these lights. There's another switch up here and that turns our centre room light on. These small lights under here, they have switches of their own. So all of your lighting runs off 12 volts. Okay. When we come around to appliances, things like <clears throat> the hob here, this all runs off gas. Simply push the button in and turn it and use the lighter, which I've supplied down there, to ignite it. But the LPG system would need to be turned on for that. We're going to get to that shortly. And the thing like the fridge here, this fridge here can run on 12 volt, 230 volt, or LPG. If you're ever plugged into the mains, we turn the system on to 230 volt. You wait about an hour and the fridge will start to cool down. If you're traveling, I suggest you use the LPG. By turning this, push this knob in and turning it, hold it in and hit the igniter. Down the back of the fridge here is like a seeing eyeglass. When you see a flame in there, it means that the LPG has ignited and the fridge is starting to cool. So you turn this knob, push it in, wait five seconds, hit the igniter and the fridge will ignite. When you finish using it, turn it to the off position. The oven here runs on LPG as well. It does have a light, an interior light. It has shelves and oven trays. It also has a rotisserie function. By putting that in there, you can have your chicken or whatever. Turning around. To turn this one on, push this in, push and hold, igniter up the top there, and your fridge will light. I mean, sorry, your oven will light. Up here, sink. Hot and cold water, just like in your house. When you turn this on, Hot and cold water will come out when we've got our pump plugged in. Now, with this front area here, this becomes a double bed. This table has foldable legs, there's a little handle on the side. It folds down and fits perfectly into the gap between there and there. Then you use the cushion squabs to make a nice size bed at the front. Before I jump outside, I'm just going to show you. It's got double glazed windows. And these windows must be, before you travel, in the most closed position, as you can see here. It's got an airing function and a lock function. I would always suggest having the windows completely closed before traveling. Now to make the windows stay upright, you've pushed the window open and you wind these toggles to tighten them. The window will now stay open. Don't just force the window close when you go to close it, you make sure you unwind the toggles. 
they're very easily broken. If you do break them, they're very cheap to replace. There's a great website called ukcaravans.co.nz or affordablecaravans.co.nz and they have the parts if you break them. All the windows have fly screens and blackout blinds also, but just be mindful when you're using them, you, everything's very lightweight. The caravan, as you can see, has New Zealand power points fitted throughout. The rear bed is already made up. This cabinet up here has a lazy season out. If you want to chuck a television in here, moving around to the bathroom at the rear. Very simple to use toilet. The blue button is your flush. That white handle behind it lets your waste go into the tank below. Once again, have another tap. Simply hot and cold water there. Coming to our three uh, two-way heater. This heater runs on LPG and 230 volts. To turn it on, there is a knob here. You simply just select how much power you want to use if you're on 230 volts. But if you're on gas, it's very easy. You just turn this around to the desired amount of heat, push that in, hold it for five seconds, and then hit the igniter a few times. Look into that little seeing eyeglass there. You'll see a flame. You know that the heat is on. Okay. Heading to the outside, we've got a remote control here. This remote control controls the motor movers which are these little electric motors that attach to the wheels. So this caravan can drive itself round. By hitting the on button twice, you can now drive it forward and backwards with the push of a button. You can also make it turn on the spot. Now the motor movers won't just work when you turn this button on. You have to engage them and that's what this handle here is for. On each side you can look at the motor movers and they have this mounting bracket here. This handle attaches to it and you either turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise. So when you're turning it clockwise, you're engaging the motor movers. So you're pushing this against the tire. To disengage it, you simply turn it anti-clockwise and the motor mover releases off the tire. You obviously can't tow the caravan with a car if the motor movers are engaged. So you must make sure they are disengaged before you tow. Looking at the side of the caravan here, down the back there is a cupboard door. Inside that cupboard door is our waste tank for the bathroom. So this is your, what we call a black water tank. By pushing these buttons here, it reveals a tank. And in that tank will be human waste. Flicking, not at the moment of course. Flick this little switch up, you pull that tank out, and you can tip it down a dump station or down a lewit. Somebody's house. Okay, heading around to the other side. All right. At the front here, this is the back of your uh, fridge, that area there. Down here, this is the back of your gas hot water cylinder. The gas hot water, before you run it on gas, you must remove this cover because this is where your LPG uh, yeah, gas comes out of here. This is where you attach your water pump. Your water pump plugs in here. That's that pipe that we saw earlier, and the other half drops into the water tank. The caravan sucks water in through there. Behind here is our deep cycle battery and our mains entry port. Comes with a brand new cable to plug her in. And that is in the box over here. It's a 25 meter cable. And as you can see, this is a caravan to caravan plug. If you want to charge this from a wall socket at home, you need to get the adapter from that end to the three pin wall plug. 
Now we've got this handle here. This handle here attaches to each corner of the caravan and winds down the stabilizer legs. So when you get to your destination, you can wind down these legs and it stops the caravan doing a wheelie if everybody walks to the back. The caravan does come with a new LPG bottle and the LPG bottle lives in this front cupboard here. The LPG bottle that will be provided is a brand new one, so it doesn't have any LPG in it. So when you first connect it, you must make sure that this handle or this tap is turned on there and that will let the gas through the line and into the caravan. Then your appliances will start to work. Now I'm just trying to think if I've forgotten anything. I probably have, but of course if you've got any questions, just give me a call. Thank you for watching.